Harold Lee Henry was raised with the vaqueros. All of them had a part in teaching me what, you know, what to do. It was Rogelio Nejosa, Lacho Evers, Omar Galvan, Victor Rios, and Samuel Torres. I respect them just like they were my father. When I was coming up, they, you know, take care of me and trying to teach me the ropes and, you know, teach me, how, you know, right way to ride a horse and to do this and the right way to work. When they die, that's going to be over with. It just, you know, what you're going to remember about them is, you know, what they taught you and what stories they told you. To me, you know, my thinking is, if I wish I was born back when they were born, I think life would have been a lot simpler than what it is now. Now, half of us know what we're doing and half of us don't. Some of them, you know, they're just starting out. They've never been raised on a ranch before, and they just come over here, and they think they know what they're doing, but they really don't. For the older ones, they know by experience. They tell you to, you know, to do this and do that. It's just different nowadays than what it was back then. It's ending. Everything is ending. The way of life of the vaquero is ending. The same goes for the way we used to work. Today, they work very different. They work different. Perhaps the greatest threat to the vaquero is the helicopter. Faster and a lot cheaper than having many vaqueros on the payroll. Roundups which once took days can be accomplished in a few hours. At one time, over 100 vaquero families lived here at Randado Ranch. An original Spanish land grant, Rafael de la Garza's family has been ranching here for 138 years. I think it would have been impossible to develop this country without the help of a vaquero. We never could have made it. No way. Vaqueros are no longer needed here. In fact, with the help of a pickup truck and trailer, one man can do the work. You really don't need too many hands now. You just keep that one man that you have out here at the ranch. And that's all you need. The need for the guy that can rope and, uh, and is an expert horseman, those needs aren't as important as they used to be in the past. Dick Jones is a rancher. His family has been here for four generations. All of us, we're, that's one of our, we're trying to do is just uh, eliminate costs, cut them down, and labor is one of your biggest costs on the ranch. You just have to operate these ranches to, you know, the best you can to make them profitable. 